little a little flair to the end of the interview. That's what we're talking about. So Frank, I think about the Astros and kind of going off what Alex said about you know Jim Crane coming in and buying the team. They lost 106, 107, and 111 games when they just bottomed out. And they came back up 2015, lost that heartbreaker series, should have won, beat the Royals, and said the Royals uh, take it all the way. And now here they are with a real chance to go the distance. We got a glance at 2015, and the world was talking how good this team going to be with some great draft picks and great young players. They have really put together, came down the water this year, made that final piece in Justin Verlander. This team is ready to get to the World Series. It's going to be a dogfight, whoever they play, Yankees or Indians. But the only team I see that can really derail them with pitching right now, starting pitching, is the Cleveland Indians. If not, I think this team could find themselves into the World Series. Well, you know, the, you can see it right now in the clubhouse. So we've all been there in that situation. We know how it feels. It's, a, it's 25 guys, five coaches, and a manager. You start in spring training. Seven months later, six months of everyday baseball. It's a team effort, and this is only their first step. You got two more Two more rounds to go and one more round. Very important to get to the World Series. But this team deserves to celebrate. Yeah. What impressed you the most Great. about them uh, in, just in the series? Anything differently than what we saw in the regular season? I just think the amount of athleticism. And you said it. They went under the radar. But they have a very diverse attack, both pitching, defense, and very athletic it's going to be fun to watch maybe the best two teams, him and whoever wins the next series. Well, the Astros are through, that's for sure. Now they await their opponent. Maybe they have one tonight because the Indians try to close out the Yankees later. But for now, celebration time in Boston. The Astros, you deserve it. Champagne is out. More coverage next. Celebrating on somebody else's field. Pretty special when we took us only four games to win a series. We are the team. You know what it's like to get in It's good. You guys have all been there. I feel pretty good right about now what they're awesome. doing, Poppy. That's awesome. I feel great. Yeah. And look, they deserve it. And, you know, it's interesting. We talked about this a little bit on the pregame show, a lot about this Astros team. Like, heck, they won 101 games, right? But you touched on it. The veterans they brought in, and specifically Carlos Beltran, who, by the way, ended up having the game-winning hit because it weren't for his right. double. Devers, his home run, would have tied the thing. But just his overall role this year for them has been what for you? Yeah, it's been interesting because we were talking about why wasn't he in the lineup, and he ends up with a game-winning hit. But here's a guy, Keith, that for me, he's played 20 years. For me, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, he was great. And then after I played with him and I saw the way he went about his business, he's like a co-manager to AJ Hinch. They're about the same age. Mm. But I think he's a beautiful bridge between the old guard and the new guard. He's a Latino that everybody loves and he can relate to everybody. And I think looking at Altuve and looking at Springer and looking at Correa, a lot of that has to do with Carlos. And one more little nugget on Carlos. Carlos is the kind of guy that he shows up at noon and watches video for three hours. And then when Keith and Poppy and, and Frank comes in, he'll tell you exactly what the pitcher's going to do and what he's tipping. He is an incredible source. Oh. You know, well, Keith, Keith, go ahead. It, it, well, he's just a great player. Uh, I agree with you. He is a Hall of Famer. I've saw him play in New York more than a few years. Terrific all the way around. Uh, what's important for this team is you've got this core of young players and you bring in the veterans that set the example. When you are a veteran and you're looked up to by all your younger players, you're the one that has to have the work ethic. You're the one when things are going bad, you have to be on an even keel. You can't show depression. You can't show over elation. You're the one that sets the example, and that's the responsibility of a leader. I definitely got to congratulate the Astros, man. They have showed some unbelievable sign from the very beginning of the season that they are the real deal. Congratulations, guys. Go forward. Yeah, there you go. The Astros, well, done. Uh, well, well done. done indeed in a hard-fought game. And again, they had to come back and go through sale and Kimball to do it. Pretty darn impressive.